Okay, you guys, another day of the unknown, but we've got the known right here, so let's dive into it. 1 Kings chapter 12. Then Rehoboam, which again was Solomon's son who took his place after Solomon died, went to Shechem, for all Israel had to come to Shechem to make him king. Now when Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, heard of it, he was living in Egypt, for he was yet in Egypt, where he had fled from the presence of King Solomon. Then they sent and called him, and Jeroboam and all the assembly of Israel came and spoke to Rehoboam, saying, Your father made our yoke hard. Now therefore, lighten the hard service of your father and his heavy yoke which he put on us, and we will serve you. Then he said to them, Depart for three days, then return to me. So the people departed. King Rehoboam consulted with the elders who had served his father Solomon while he was still alive, saying, How do you counsel me to answer this people? Then they spoke to him, saying, If you will be a servant to this people today, and will serve them and grant them their petition, and speak good words to them, then they will be your servants forever. But he forsook the counsel of the elders which they had given him, and consulted with the young men who grew up, grew up with him and served him. So he said to them, his young homies, What counsel do you give that we may answer this people who have spoken to me, saying, Lighten the yoke which your father put on us? The young men who grew up with him spoke to him, saying, Thus you shall say to this people who spoke to you, saying, Your father made our yoke heavy, now you make it lighter for us. But you shall speak to them, My little finger is thicker than my father's loins. Whereas my father loaded you with a heavy yoke, I will add to your yoke. My father disciplined you with whips, but I will discipline you with scorpions. Then Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam on the third day as the king had directed, saying, Return to me on the third day. The king answered the people harshly, for he forsook the advice of the elders which they had given him, and he spoke to them according to the advice of the young men, saying, My father made your yoke heavy, but I will add to your yoke. My father disciplined you with whips, but I will discipline you with scorpions. So the king did not listen to the people, for it was a turn of events from the Lord, that he might establish his word, which the Lord spoke through Ahijah the Shelonite to Jeroboam the son of Nebat. When all Israel saw that the king did not listen to them, the people answered the king, saying, What portion do we have in David? We have no inheritance in the son of Jesse. To your tents, O Israel. Now look after your own house, David. So Israel departed to their tents. And again, what a shame with Solomon. Verse 17. But as for the sons of Israel who lived in the cities of Judah, Rehoboam reigned over them. Then King Rehoboam sent Adoram, who was over the forced labor, and all Israel stoned him to death. And King Rehoboam made haste to mount his chariot to flee Jerusalem, to Jerusalem. So Israel has been in rebellion against the house of David to this day. It came about when all Israel heard that Jeroboam had returned, and again Jeroboam was Nabat's son, not Solomon's, that they sent and called him to the assembly and made him king over all Israel. None but the tribe of Judah followed the house of David. Now when Rehoboam had come to Jerusalem, he assembled all the house of Judah and the tribe of Benjamin, 180,000 chosen men who were warriors, to fight against the house of Israel to restore the kingdom to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon. But the word of God came to Shemaiah, the man of God, saying, Speak to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and to all the house of Judah and Benjamin, and to the rest of the people, saying, Thus says the Lord, You must not go up and fight against your relatives, the sons of Israel. Return every man to his house, for this thing has come from me. So they listened to the word of the Lord, and returned and went their way according to the word of the Lord which must have been a huge sigh of relief for the people of Judah. Verse 25. Then Jeroboam uh, built Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim and lived there. And he went out from there and built Penuel. Jeroboam said in his heart, Now the kingdom will return to the house of David. If this people go up to offer sacrifices in the house of the Lord at Jerusalem, then the heart of this people will return to their Lord, even to Rehoboam king of Judah, and they will kill me and return to Rehoboam, king of Judah. So the king consulted and made two golden calves, and he said to them, it, uh, it is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Behold, your gods, O Israel, that brought you up from the land of Egypt. He set one in Bethel, and the other he put in Dan. 
Now this thing became a sin, for the people went to worship before the one as far as Dan. And he made houses on high places, and made priests from among all the people who were not of the sons of Levi. Jeroboam instituted a feast in the eighth month on the fifteenth day of the month, like the feast which is in Judah. And he went up to the altar, thus he did in Bethel, sacrificing to the calves which he had made. And he stationed in Bethel the priests of the high places which he had made. Then he went up to the altar which he had made in Bethel on the fifteenth day in the eighth month, even in the month which he had devised in his own heart. And he instituted a feast for the sons of Israel and went up to the altar to burn incense. And back to the days of idolatry and shenanigans. Uh, the lesson I take away from today is that if God's people take their eyes away from him just for a little bit, they can end up in places they shouldn't. And uh, so we need to be careful with that as well. If we get distracted uh, from giving God his due uh, time and uh, spending time with him, things can happen. So let's stay with it. Thank you guys for being here. God bless your day. Take care.